YouTube Retro Guy back with another one and on today's episode we're taking a look at the highly coveted, the almost completely sold out Jordan 1 Low, I'm joking, I'm joking, it's the Nike Court Vision Low in the game royal colorway, looking a lot like a royal low, anyways make sure you guys mm, hit that like and subscribe button, we're about to throw them on the turntable and make them do the merengue for us, you already know, uh, without further ado, let's go. Sorry YouTube, we're back and we're looking at the Nike Court Vision Low in this like wicked royal colorway. Uh, do these remind you of anything? <laughs> Anyways, let's look at the upper. Well, I gotta say, man, with all the releases and all the royal colorways that are coming out this year, this is a refreshing retake on the Jordan 1 Low. Here's the thing. Uh, these Jordans be costing so much money and finally Nike has given us an opportunity to have something that we want for super cheap and guess what the materials and the build quality actually reflect that price. So it seems that Nike's starting to address the problem of these overpriced sneakers. A lot of people want lows, a lot of people want Jordans, not everybody can afford them. These though? These? Bro. They're under 100 bucks. The first thing you'll notice is we have this tumbled leather uh, print. It's an overlay. It's not actually tumbled leather. Um, it's a little bit on the stiff side, not too, too squishy. It's not like a Jordan 1 premium, obviously, but for the most part, it does the trick. These are low tops. They're very light. The upper leather might be a little bit solid and, you know, not so, it doesn't have very much play to it. Let's just be honest. But I mean, that's what you're paying for. You're not paying for premium quality ones. I'll tell you that much. Now, I'm not sure if there's any air in here in this capsule. Um, although, usually they put an EVA wedge in these shoes these are meant to be very comfortable so you know I'm led to believe hopefully that there's some air in it although there's no air brandings or anything like that so it might just be a capsule <laughs> just plain by itself now I don't know if there's any air in there but who cares <laughs> you ain't you can't get everything man you can't get everything the build of the shoe is meant to be that so that you could just pretty much slip it on once these sh shoelaces are are untightened and you know the shoes broken and these should be pretty easy to slip on and just wear it even says right on the inside engineered for all day every day comfort is what that thing says on the side inside but I'll pull that out for you guys in a minute man game royal so this isn't hyper royal it's actually a game royal colorway as a royal fan I'm ecstatic I mean 85 95 bucks you're good you're gucci now you could put these on slip them on bust them up dead them off and then buy the next pair no problem and it's just that cheap well, thank god this is how much you're supposed to cost the quality is actually very similar to the mids um there's not too much to the shoe except for the fact that you have this extended uh toe box portion here and that's something that's a little bit different from the jordan one lows you have a couple extra perforation holes and you know the design of the toe box is a little bit different the exceptional part about the shoe is actually not even the shoe itself it's the price man the price these things go for like 85 five dollars canadian and you know i wanted to give them a quick review just because i didn't see much about them online and i didn't see too many reviews so obviously there's a high demand for these type of shoes because these holes was almost sold out before i even got to them fam i didn't even know they were out they got a couple colorways of this but this one looks like a royal one low that's what that looks like uh let's check out the toe box though because this is one of the things that you can really judge uh nikes and jordans by especially in this type of silhouette so as you can see there it's very stiff it's not plushy at all it's not like a premium jordan one that's probably plastic with a tumbled leather overlay um a lot of times that's what happens with these mid and low tops now even the leather part of this mud guard here isn't squishy like my jordan ones and if you guys have watched my jordan one reviews and I do the, you know, I, I squish up the toe. You guys can tell that these are a lot more stiff. I would pull these into the equation and start talking about these versus these, but it's not a fair comparison. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, squishy toe. This, not so much. Now on the back here, you have Nike branding and it's embroidered and it has a, obviously a blue, um, you know, ink in there. And it's really, it's really good. It's nice clean branding the heel of the shoe is really clean these are going to be nikes for people that you know don't want to be buying the highs and also don't want to be paying crazy numbers man for these for these sneakers because it gets a little bit ridiculous sometimes right these are obviously going to go with jeans and any pretty much anything that you would wear your royals with dead ass a quick lace swap and you're flying in these these are going to look crazy man put some hyper royal laces on this you're styling on them just don't wear these to the snow clears super clean 
clean white outsole. It's a bit thick for the silhouette of the shoe because it does take up a bit of the uh, a bit of the actual shoe. Just uh, just in how thick it is. This looks like an expanded Jordan One outsole, man. It just is what it is. Like you know, it's it's, it's like hybrid of a Jordan One and an Air Force One outsole. So you got a textile on the interior here in fabric, and that stuff is like standard. But it's once again, it's stiff, and you know, it's it's something that's gonna have to be worked in. These shoes really do have to have a work in period so yeah i ripped the outsole out and doo doo brown Ugh. what is that it looks good from the outside though nike court vision branding on the tongue with a uh you know that's 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 not leather but, but i mean i do appreciate how big the tag is but yeah man um i we do have some stuff here that i would uh compare these to now what do these look a lot like and feel a lot like Yes, yes, these are very close to the mids in quality. In fact, uh, I'm about to show you guys what they look like back to back so you can see just how close they are. Boom, these joints right here. Now, obviously, we know what these are. These are the Hyper Royal mids that have just released not too too long ago last year and you know these are a different color as you can tell right away here you have court royal and here you have hyper royal two different colors completely hyper royal game royal don't matter royal is royal they're all fire you got the dark marinas and stuff it's it must be the year of the royals uh, uh, uh release the jordan one high royals come on i missed out on those let's go build quality is very similar in the two shoes now i did a full review of these shoes if you guys missed that out make sure you check them out i also did a comparison between these and the bread mids here's the difference between the uh court vision low toe box and the the mids and you can see there's a similarity in the design of the placement of the holes there's some similarities there but it's also a little bit different you have a little bit more tumbling here on this side but for the most part they're both pretty stiff it's it's not one of them isn't more stiff than the other you can also tell here there's a little bit of leather on front of the lacelet section on the front of the shoe it's not an open design like the Jordan 1 mids the mudguard area seems pretty similar to me and you know the leather qualities on the side they're very similar it has a tumbled leather overlay print and it's you know it's a little bit tough they're not soft like the Jordan 1's but this is it this is the royal family <laughs> it's a royal flush <laughs> this is a oh, I ran out of royal jokes. These two swooshes seem so close in color. It's really difficult to decide. This looks a little bit different between this color and this color. It might not pick it up in the camera, but I feel like this is a little bit of a lighter color than this swoosh. Now you can see in the side portions here, in the back panels, how that is different from a regular Jordan 1 mid and how the the build, it kind of like takes after a dunk where it goes over the actual, uh, the, the overlays on the panels of the shoe. Also here on the back of the heel, you have a smooth leather uh, panel there, whereas on the mids, you have a colored panel and it's a little bit more beefcake and just, you know what I mean? There's more to it there. Man, these are meant to just slip on, go, wear, and, and you know, it is what it is. But here's the thing though, the difference, the price difference between these two, uh, I mean, 85 bucks versus like, you know, one, one, how much were these? Like 160, something like that. So, I mean, it just is what it is, man. These are really price cost effective and, you know, they're addressing, they're starting to address the hyperinflation that we're seeing in these sneakers, man. So anyways, without further ado, about to put these hoes on foot and, you know, let me know what you guys think of these, man, because the Court Vision Lows aren't really, you know, they're selling out. That's the crazy part. You go into the online store and these are basically sold out in almost all the sizes. I couldn't even get my size in this. So some people might like Dunks better. Some people might like Air Forces one better, but these are going to be perfect for some people, especially because of the price point. Super cost effective for the person that likes air forces for the person that likes uh jordan one lows but doesn't want to pay those prices man i think that this is perfect price point for the quality and the materials that are being used so let me know what you guys think of these are they your jams will you be wearing them and do you think that these are good everyday wears because that's what they're marketed as here's something new i haven't seen this before engineered for all day everyday comfort A little nike sticker with the uh feet there box reads nike Court Vision Low Black Game Royal size eight and a half. So you already know it ain't gonna be me doing the on foot. But once again, MSRP is ripped off. The suggested the manufacturer suggested retail is ripped off of that, and it's really strange. Not sure why. We still have our Foot Locker thing here, and you can see the FTL. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for rocking with your boy for another episode. Make sure you hit the like, mm, hit that like and subscribe button.
chopped it in the throat for me. You already know what it is. Helps man's out in the algorithms. And it's free. You already know what the deal is on foot coming up soon. And uh, as a matter of fact, it's coming up right now. Let's show you guys what these look like before you spend your hard earned bread because I want you to know what they look like, fam. I want you to know what they look like on foot because even though they're 85 bucks, there's still 100 bones. Without further ado, let's head to the on foot.